Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to uh, do a quick update to the contours video to uh, see how the new transform pane, the new user interface, makes it uh, even easier to do uh, contours. Uh, we're uh, uh, connecting via remote desktop to uh, a machine that's a 48 uh, thread thread ripper. And uh, here on the left we see a Montana.map project, which is a little over five gigabytes. That's the one we're gonna open. And we're gonna double click Manifold. So let's see how quick Manifold can open. One, two, three, double click and there it is, it's open. Let's uh, resize that so that it fits into the video frame. Like that. Okay, that's cool. And uh, let's uh, actually, I want to adjust that just slightly. And uh, now let's open that uh, five gigabyte project. So let's see how fast Manifold opens that five gigabyte, gigabyte project. Double click here, and it's open. As you can see, that uh, opened instantly. We can look into the uh, view panes log window. Let's open that up, and you can see it took Manifold uh, about half a second to start up. And then it took it, a, well, I don't know, virtually no time at all to open that uh, Montana map project. So that's a five thousandth of a second. That's really quick. If we double click open the map, you can see what, what it's, what's there. Uh, this is uh, a, a uh, train elevation surface, which uh, as a ESRI GRD file is uh, over 14 gigabytes in size. We've imported it. And uh, we're going to create contours on it. The uh, particular uh, view that we're looking at here has a Bing street map uh, layer as a background. We can double click that open and you can see the tiles filling in from Bing. Since Bing is way slower for manifold than manifold, I'm going to turn that off and let's just work with the image. I'll zoom in here to uh, right click and drag to zoom into something uh, interesting. Take a look, what, see what we can see. All right, and uh, let's do contours. We're going to use the new transform pane here. Click on transform and with the focus on the open map window, I'm going to choose the layer that I want to work with. That's the uh, raster layer right there. I'm going to double click contour and that launches the contour template. And what I want to do is I want to uh, create a contours based on the tile field channel zero. You can choose whatever channel you want. I'll use channel zero, so that's the one with height in it. And for the output time type, I'm going to choose uh, lines to create uh, contour areas. For the start and the end, I'm going to choose a full range. And it'll automatically look at the full range of heights that are in the uh, terrain and give me that. And for the step, I'll make it a step of 100. And uh, we want to round the start and end to the step. So instead of being this kind of like these word numbers here, they'll be, they'll be round numbers. So like, you know, 2,900 or 800 or whatever. Great. And uh, I want to put the result into a new drawing. Let's call it contour. Spell that right. And here, uh, let's uh, make the table contour table. And now I'm going to click transform. Let's see how long it takes manifold. Ah, one last thing. Click here on info, and you can see that this image size is about uh, 26,000 by uh, uh, 38,000 pixels. So it's a pretty big uh, train elevation surface. For Manifold, of course, it's nothing, but for a lot of other packages, namely Arc, it would be a lot. And back here into the transform pane, you can see all those parameters still loaded. We can jump around between various panes and various uh, displays, and where those uh, parameters are, they're still ready to go. Let's click transform and see how long that takes. Uh, when you're doing tra uh, tra contours in Manifold, you have to brace yourself because it's going to take on a, t on a train elevation surface of, of this size, about 10 seconds. There, it's done. And we've just created contours. Let's drag and drop the contour lines into the, uh, into the, into the map. And you can see that's, that's, that's where they are. I can uh, control click on the uh, tab for the uh, contour layer to uh, zoom to fit on that tab. And you can see that it was, they were created indeed for the entire display. Zooming in, we can see the uh, incredible complexity and detail of uh, contours created every 100 feet of steps. And uh, let's see what I use in the transform. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, every every hundred feet uh, for the, for the train elevation data, and um, that's that's certainly wonderful. Uh, now, if you've uh, watched the previous video, uh, you, you may remember that the uh, heights that we used in the previous video were slightly different. For example, we used the minimum height of uh, uh, 623 and a maximum height of uh, 3289. So, if anybody's wondering. Uh, you know, uh, if, the, if that makes any difference. We also did not split into shapes. Uh, Esri, uh, when it does contours, uh, spatial analysis is not split into shapes. That it's uh, Everything is kind of, you know, all the lines are built as one very large uh, shape uh, for that contour. But uh, I like to uh, check this option box to split them into shapes so that all the contours for a particular line, you know, even if they're not contiguous to each other, are split into uh, separate uh, lines. I think it's that's better. Uh, and uh, if we want to see how long this takes, we can rerun that transform. I'll click back here in the transfer in the project pane and I will delete the old contour drawing. Delete it right there. So you can see those disappear. I'm going to leave this tab there though that's waiting for the, something else to fill in in the project pane to be called contour. And here back in the transform pane, let's rerun this with the uh, with those new values. Click transform. 
And here we go again. We're going to spend another 10 seconds. Now for uh, ARC with Spatial Analyst, it takes it uh, about 20 minutes to do these, so there's no way you, you do them uh, twice. But here in, in just a five-minute video, we're going to do it twice. There's the contour again. And uh, let's see how long all this took. We'll go back here to the log window, which is still open. And you can see the transform took 9.84 seconds the first time, and it took 10 seconds the second time. That's uh, pretty typical for, uh, you know, given how uh, Windows does caching and all that sort of stuff. So there you go. That's the new uh, transform interface. It's extremely fast. You can go back and forth and, and pick all sorts of different uh, things that you want to do. Uh, a hallmark of the new transform display is that it's extremely persistent. It remembers these values. So uh, if you want to go back and do it again, or if you want to switch to something else like the log window and come back here to the map, you'll see that the transform pane is exactly where it was, even if you uh, switch to uh, different components. We're looking at kind of a compressed uh, view here. So uh, uh, normally you'd, you'd be undocking these panes to move them around you know, more conveniently on your, on your Windows desktop, wherever you want to put it. I'm just shift clicking on the title bar to dock and undock them. Uh, but there you go. You can download this Contours map uh, from the uh, Manful product downloads. Uh, it's a zip file, which is about a little over 3 gigabytes in size, so it'll take a while to download. But once you download it, you can try this out in the free viewer, uh, load uh, this map, try it for yourself with Contours, so you can see, seeing is believing, as they say, that uh, Manifold really is, really will do in 10 seconds, which takes uh, ARC about 20 minutes. You can also download from the Manifold website the original GRD. That's about a five, uh, five some, something gigabyte uh, uh, zip file to download it. So you can take that GRD, that grid file, and import it into your uh, uh, Arc ArcGIS Pro or Ar ArcGIS and uh, ArcMap and uh, see uh, how long it takes uh, Esri to do the exact same thing using exactly these same settings you know, for, for this sort of range with the step of 100. Thanks for watching, and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.